Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Between Two Urns with Dr. Mark Vaughn and Dr. Terry Bull. This is actually Dr. Terry Bull's channel. He just asked me to be the host of the show. I, I just needed a facilitator, you know what I'm saying? And I always wanted to be a facilitator. It's what I've wanted to do ever since I can remember is to facilitate things. It's, so, a, it's, a, it's a calling. Let's start things off with a question. One listener writes, Shirley B to be specific, she asks, what shampoo do you use? It's, it's a formulation of my own making, Shirley. I, I use vinegar, usually white vinegar, and some Arm & Hammer baking soda. I probably shouldn't mention brand names, but what the heck, what other kind of baking soda is there, right? You mix the two together, of course it gets all fizzy and bubbly and like a, you know, uh, violently uh, foamy. And I worked that all in, and all those bubbles, it kills all of the, you know, un, uh, undesirable things. And I kind of rinse it out, and then uh, run it through a salad spinner, and I'm ready to go. So mm -hmm. I, you probably shouldn't do that yourself, though. So this is uh, not for general audience. Uh, I, yeah, it's one of those use. things like, yeah, you a, don't try this at home. I'm a professional kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, you know. Okay, we also have 6771 Randy asks, no, it's not a question. It's more of a comment. The... Oh, okay, this is referring back to the Apocalyptic Blackhead, the oh, funniest Blackhead video. The, he says the half-inch version would equal the 13 millimeter, not the 12 millimeter. Oh, uh, he's referring to the Comedon extractor. I, I, yeah, That's I correct. remember I said that the, uh, you know, we, we were using half-inch, but we've got the 13 for our uh, European uh, contingent. And he's saying, oh, well, no. Well, you said the 12. He says you need the 13. Is that which way? Whatever. Whatever it is, this guy, he doesn't know a thing about European zits. That's all I can tell you. You know? Fair enough. So, but, but thanks for the comment anyway. Now go home. All right. And then we'll finish up with a question by Lindsay. And it says, what did you do before becoming a doctor? Oh, now that's, a, that's kind of a wide open. And I don't know if we have completely a, enough time on this show, but... Um, one of my past jobs that I'm comfortable in discussing was that I was actually a narrator for nature videos. Hmm. Yeah. So, let's look. You want to take a look at one of them? I, I actually got some. Okay. Okay. So, what we got here is the great egret. The great egret's got quite a strut, doesn't she? Looks like a runway model. In fact, kind of like a drunk runway model, if you ask me. Look at those long legs, that that long exotic neck, kind of strutting around looking for something, looking for some kind of action here. Obviously she's getting a little bit uh, focused on something here, it looks like. And, you know, they typically feed on frogs and fish and things like that. You see him walking around in the water with those long legs, but uh, this one seems to focus, maybe it's a bug or something, I don't know. Whoa, whoa, what she got there? Ah, she picked up a lizard. Well, you know, a lizard is kind of like a cross between a fish and a frog. It's got a face like a frog, scales like a fish. What the heck? It's going to be a little tough going down. You know, it's not slimy and slick and juicy. But uh, apparently the uh, great egret don't care. She just don't care. She's going to swallow that thing. She's going to swallow it whole, apparently. Oh, there it goes. Down the hatch. Great egret don't care. Okay. And then she goes back to strutting. How you like me now? Watch out, lizards. Watch out, frogs. Watch out, fish. I'll eat you all. I'll swallow you all whole. Who cares? Because I'm the great egret. And I just don't care. Check out my neck. So they, they really didn't like my style. They, they, they let me go. Uh, in favor of a guy named Randy, who put his own style on top of this, uh, and he turned it into a thing. He's, it turns out, he's the honey badger guy. Oh, honey badger don't care. Yeah, that guy. I can't say it like that. Yeah, that guy. Anyway. Well, like you, I guess. He's got a gazillion views, what can I tell you? Yeah, uh, yeah. in the tens of millions, so. I, ridiculous. If I had a nickel for every view that he had, I would be like, you know, kind of rich. Kind of rich. Yeah. Randall. Yeah, yeah, Randall. He's famous. Yeah, well, let's, let's don't make him more famous. Oh, okay. That guy. 
Hey, thanks for joining us. We're glad that you were here for this episode of Between Two Urns. And we'd like you to let us know what you think of the show. This is YouTube. You can be a part of things. You can write in the comments and tell us. And you can write to Dr. Terry Bull and you can write to myself in the comments and we, we respond. So More questions at, at, at uh, drterrybull at hotmail.com. You can email him too. And that's where these questions came from, correct? Absolutely. These were emailed in. But you can comment anyway. Hey, thanks for joining us. You want to do the close or you want to, to have your facilitator facilitate a closing? You, you can facilitate the closing. I will facilitate the closing. So thanks for joining us. Until next time, Dr. Terry Bull, Dr. Mark Vaughn telling you to stay in good health.